Well, the long-awaited uh, constitutional application of Mr. Blackmore to Canada's polygamy law was adjourned before it even started. The hearing was set for four days for this week, but it turns out that Mr. Blackmore's lawyer, Blair Sufferdine, has been missing a whole series of deadlines for filing. Um, the affidavit of Mr. Blackmore about, about his reasons for this wasn't filed until late last night. The judge didn't have a copy of it. The Crown prosecutor didn't get a copy of it until late last night. And when he got a copy of it, it's sort of different than the draft that he had. And in 35 years of being a lawyer, um, the prosecutor, Peter Wilson, said he's never cross-examined somebody on something that he hasn't had time to prepare for. So he asked reluctantly for an adjournment. And even more reluctantly, the judge granted the adjournment. So what's hap what has happened is that Mr. Sufferdine has missed a whole series of deadlines, and this case is dragging on and on and on. It didn't start until April this year. It didn't, it didn't go until the spring of this year. In April, all the evidence was in. It wasn't until then that Mr. Sufferdine even said that he was going to file a constitutional challenge. So it's going to now be resuming on December the 12th, and in order for that to happen, everyone's had to rearrange schedules. It's cost all kinds of money. And we're still at the same place that we were, I don't know, a long time ago, because this polygamy law has never been challenged in Canada. It's never been prosecuted. So since 1890, I guess, what's another couple of weeks?